Central Park is a rare, rare, imaginative creation that worked. It's 900 acres of incredible beauty. Central Park is the backyard for all New Yorkers. It's such a contrast uh, to New York City, and I love that it's in the center of the city. It's just such a great complement to the urban jungle that we have. I love being in Central Park and looking up and feeling like I am so far out of the city, and yet I can see the skyscrapers all around me. This is a picture of Central Park from the air. As you can see, it's a rectangular 900 acre green space located among all the skyscrapers in New York City. Some of the buildings that you see in this picture are among the tallest in the United States. One of the buildings in the picture is 102 stories tall. Another is 77 floors tall. Here's what Central Park looks like from a little higher up in the air. As you can see, it's a parallelogram, meaning that it has two pairs of parallel sides. The parallel sides are opposite of each other and are the same length. The opposite angles inside, meaning the inside corners, are the same measure. This corner is the same measure as that corner and this corner is the same measure as that corner. This is a picture that I took when I was there on vacation with my daughter and my sister. You can see there's a lake and then there are some trees in the distance and then here are the tall buildings on the perimeter of the park. It was a beautiful day and one of my very very favorite memories. I love to ride my bike. And it was one of my dreams to ride my bike in Central Park. This is me with my green bicycle helmet getting ready to ride. This is my daughter. She went with me and she was so sweet to ride bikes with me. But as you can see from this picture, it wasn't her favorite thing. Before I went to New York City and Central Park, I looked at the park on a map to determine how big it was. I wanted to ride my bike all the way around the perimeter. I googled to find out the distance of each side and I did some math to figure out how far around it was and how long it would take me to get around the perimeter of the park. So now, let's see what math can tell us about riding bikes in Central Park and other things about New York City.